Ooze. Sony's Ooze. Footage of a brand new Sony IP has leaked. Brett, I'm actually going to play this behind us while... Uh, well, We're not going to get copyright strikes for it, are we? That's actually a good point. I just thought about that. And I'm going to stop myself. I'll show you this screenshot, but that's it. That's all you okay. get. There's not much to it. There's not much to it. Um, so the game is apparently a sci-fi RPG based in Unreal Engine 5. It's being developed through XDev in partnership with an external studio. XDev is uh, Sony support shit right their development pipeline the studio behind this is still unconfirmed however we do know they're based in europe dusk golem who is a leaker on twitter notorious uh, horror game leaker yeah. yeah confirmed that this is the quote-unquote ooze game which was a previously rumored new sony ip and that this footage is from an old build of the game if you watch the footage it's, it's very uh rudimentary okay yeah so dusk Go golem commented on reset on reset era and said this Quote, well, obviously I can't say if this will come out or not. I'll mention I personally have seen a lot more of this game and more recent stuff of this game that this clip than this clip. Um, not this clip, but the game itself beyond this clip is at least at a point currently where the game is fully voice acted, music composed specifically for it, being far more fine tuned than this clip. Dusk Golden also further commented on Reddit and said, quote, I decided to read people's reactions to Ooze. Ooze is a nickname I attribute to the project rather than what it will be called. The nickname will make more and more sense when people get to see more of this whenever they do. It's a very ooey, gooey game, more than this clip even suggests. I don't think the clip suggests it's ooey or gooey at all. Yeah, no. Um, and then just last point that we could talk about it. It says a recent finding seems to indicate that the studio behind this title, maybe people can fly. Developers of Painkiller, Bulletstorm, and Gears of War Judgment, and Outriders. That last point is very, very interesting, Brett. And yes. I'll tell you why it makes sense. People Can Fly was canned or gotten, they were basically sidelined, uh, dissimulated from, was it Ubisoft, right? Who did Outriders? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, whoever the studio is that published Outriders, which is a shame because I heard Outriders is good. And I still actually really want to try it. Um, so that makes sense. And it's interesting, you know, through this X dev stuff, if PlayStation is going to kind of test it out, test them out and see what they can do. Um, really other than um um oh my god bungie playstation doesn't typically go and purchase outside studios or bring them in-house and make them first party until there's some right. sort of relationship there typically um there's you know usually there's some sort of relationship there before they do that and this x dev pipeline is basically essentially for that um so interesting i'll tell you why i'm not that excited though why can we please have something that is not a third-person shooter from PlayStation? Please, something that is not a third-person shooting game. I get that. Please. Not even th shooting, just a third-person action game. Something else. Please. Please, something else. Don't. And it's not. I love all of the first-party games, but can we please get something else? anything oh. a first person shooter please so here's why i'm excited for it and i i do see what you mean and it, i agree it is the third person thing with with playstation is nuts dude i mean it's it's literally all they can make right now at this point um that being said this game is my shit dude in the clip you'll see a giant kaiju climbing a tower don't know what that what's going on there but if it's a kaiju in the game i'm interested and if you look in the distance, and maybe you can kind of skim through the video and to, to show this, I don't know. I already closed that out of it. I don't want to risk it. There's a giant eyeball in the sky. Oh, yeah. So you can actually see it in this image right here. Yeah, that's so funny. I don't know what that is, but that's my shit, dude. Giant monsters is my shit. Mm -hmm. um, plus, Dust Golem, who is usually a horror <laughs> uh, leaker who knows a lot about, like, Resident Evil and Silent Hill stuff is the one leaking this. So it makes you think there's got to be it's sci-fi. It's got to have some some horror in there. Maybe if he's, you know, finding out about it. So um, also it's ooze. It's ooze, dude. I'm in it for the ooze. Ivan ooze. Do you get so when I first watched it, I was like, oh, resistance. Do you get resistance vibes from it? Yeah, it, it looks like a PS3 game. Yeah. From well, the yeah, graphics. but I mean, just in, in general, like for sure. Definitely. Um, and he said it's way further along than that clip. It's interesting that that's what leaked, but um, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, 
I'm not obviously going to knock it before anything. And it's not like, I, I mean, I love every PlayStation first party game. I really do. There has been one that came out that I'm like, eh, that's fucking turds. Um, yeah. But I don't know, man. Like, I would like, uh, I would like some more, some different stuff, please. At some point, bye you know, bye. at some point, I really would. So, all right. Anything else on that? Uh, stay tuned. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Haptic Intel. Did you do it? Subscribe right now.